It doesn't matter where you come from, every single child has an absolute right to a good education. It's my responsibility to ensure that at this school our kids receive a good education. My name's Michael Henson, I'm currently Principal at Cairns West State School and this is my sixth year at this school. I never dreamed that I was going to become a principal, but I was very lucky in my school and career in that I had some very good teachers. I was sort of never the smartest kid in, in my class, but I knew that with those particular teachers there that I was always going to get a fair go. I ended up being posted to very remote places out in the Indigenous communities. What I've learned in terms of teaching in disadvantaged communities is that if you don't have high expectations, you end up having generation after generation of, of kids who just don't make the grade. The mantra that we use at Cairns West is that all children can and will be successful. We want our kids to be strong and proud about who they are and smart enough to mix it with the rest of them. A lot of our kids will come to prep for the first time and won't really have had a lot of pre-literacy or pre-numeracy, so we've got to move quickly to make sure that we catch them up. Out of 680 children in the school, only 10 households would have a computer at home. Of course, we know that when the kids go to high school, if they're not technologically savvy, then they're going to be behind again. A fellow principal by the name of Richard Barry got onto the XO laptop program and he sponsored us a, a set of laptops for one of our prep classes. It wasn't long before I had the other prep teachers coming up suggesting to me that we should probably introduce them in all the prep classes. And so we started an enrolment drive where we said, well, if you enrol your child at prep at Cairns West State School, then your child will have his or her own laptop. That year we predicted 65 prep kids and we in fact got 100. I introduced One Education into the classroom last year in prep. I find that kids respond really well to it. Just the layout of the laptop and the games are quite easy for them to follow. It does show them if they've made a mistake or tell them if they've made a mistake, so that's really good with getting them to spell and, and write their words. In 2011, in one class, there were four kids who got to the national benchmarks for reading. In 2012, after we'd had the XO laptops with that teacher, we had 17 kids at that standard. If you come across something that works, then you like to share it. And at the end of the day, we work for the same master. I mean, we all work for the state and we work for the parents. And what parents want when they send their kids to school is for them to be successful. And if we can provide their kids with a teaching tool that's going to help them be successful at a reasonable price, then I don't think that we should sit on it. It's a real privilege, actually, to watch these kids grow from really young children into young adults. And the journey that those kids are on is quite an incredible journey for them and for their parents. The real aim for us is we've got to get them to grade seven, transition them into high school with all the doors still open for them. As a principal, you've really got to ensure that you invest the money that you have in your school wisely. So if it's a one hit wonder, if it's something you're only going to do one year, then it just becomes a gimmick. I'm not into gimmicks. What I'm after are things that work, and if they work, we'll continue to support it. Thank you.